right yeah. now my whole gen like the shame that i had of not going to college for a year like bro like i've like you understand this right but like if you didn't go to college god damn you're you like you're you're gonna be a loser you fucked up like got the, ostracized oh bro it was so bad yeah i mean i'm you know first generation i mean first generation born here and stuff i'm the oldest of my of my uh of like my kids of, of my parents kids and stuff like that and like i didn't go to school for one year i just i ditched the first i took that first year off because i wanted to just so, some time off of school they just put my ass to work like a fucking donkey and shit. <laughs> they, <really, laughs> donkey. They're, they're trying, they're trying to break me, and like I didn't let, like, and they didn't break me. Oh, that's but tough. they tried to really hard, and but like the shame I felt, and like even I started do, like coping and going like, all right, I um, I'll go to community college for a little bit. I'll go to community college for two. Cool. I like I like community college, but to me, for most people, knowing how people are, most people like you'd better off just paying getting into debt for two extra years and just going to real college because you'd actually take it seriously i know there's a huge one of the biggest grifts is actually community college in terms of like this is the grift they do yeah you'll go to this they tell everyone this you go to community college for two years they'll transfer off to a school the problem is is most people they don't really have all their stuff figured out in terms of they don't have all the ap they don't have all the master classes so what ends up happening is that you get there they'll lie to you for six months and then after once you go back to your counselor to see all right here's the real shit it's going to take you three and a half years to get mm. the classes you need to get to the certain levels to get to the school. Or you could have just gone, and this is the fucked up thing. I don't like the whole debt shit, but it's true though. You would have just, if you just jumped straight to that school, paid the money, you'd be in the system. They would have bumped you up and then you still could fail, but at least you're there. And like, you're like, oh yeah, I was going to like, you know, UC Davis and I just fucking, I flunked. Now, like, outside of maybe like the highest, like, like Ivy League schools, you can get into every fucking college just opening the fucking door. They'll take anybody they, for anything, like all these UC schools and stuff, bro. You can get into anything outside, outside of maybe like Brown or um, Harvard or Yale and stuff like that. Outside of those Dartmouth, schools, things Dart, like Dartmouth yeah, and yeah. stuff, you can get it with money or anything. You can do open door to anything, anything. Yeah, I mean that's everything about money, but still, but it wasn't like that. You had to have certain GPAs, you had certain classes, records. No, it's just like it's fucking Debray. Just open the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. I think that's that's a that's a sign of the time, right? Because they're right. hurting for money, man. They they want you in there, man. They want them in there. But see, like my big thing is, is that with school, you know, I mean, like for, we'll take my child for instance. She's gonna do six year degree. So I played the numbers with that. I I am sending her to community colleges for two years. Is she, she seventeen or eighteen? She's she's actually eighteen. Okay, she's born in September. Got it. And so what I did is I said, okay, uh, uh, Lana and her worked it out with the counselor, and I was like, okay, make sure that where she's transferring to in the nursing program. Yes. That all of those classes transfer before we sign up. Yep, one hundred percent. But you're a, you're a, we didn't have you're like a master builder. You're you're help you're building your daughter this fucking plan and this road work. Most people, their parents don't know anything. Yeah, that's and, the thing, right? It's, and see, and that's and that's I told her for me, uh, she's my legacy, right? She's yes. my only child. So I told her I was like, for me, the best thing for you is to graduate high school. She did with honors, man. That's she crushed awesome. it, like in the top of her class. Um. She went to private school and then now she's going to go to college and you know she will start her life with a degree debt free. Yeah. That's all I care about. Damn, dude, that's that's you've set her up. Uh, you see, the, and the other thing too is she knows what she wants to do. That's I really think that's almost 80% of the battle. Is It no, was a big battle. Yeah. Cuz she went round and round her senior year and I was like, "Look, we I'm not going to commit anything." You know, well my friends doing this and my friends doing that. Well, forget about your friends. You got to do this for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know, once you figure out precisely what you want to do, let's stick with that. And she went back and forth on a few things. And then I showed her the numbers on it. Like I told you, I showed her the statistics yeah. and the kind of money and the kind of lifestyle that we live. And I'm not saying we have all that. And she's a car girl. She, she wants yeah, a, yeah, she, she wants I a mean, 9-11. We I, live at, I mean, Glenn's been in my house. We live relatively comfortably. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm going to call it. Right. And um, so if you have this certain lifestyle that you're used to, you aren't going to get here over here. Right. That's the thing about girls, right? They're so solipsist. Was it solipsistic or whatever they want to say? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of use I kind of I kind of use that against her a little bit. Right, know? right. Like, <laughs> this is what you just dangle the fucking nine eleven keys. Yeah, it's like you want the GT. This is what you got to do. You, yeah, you want the you want the you want the Yaris or do you want the fucking <laughs> <laughs> the Yaris, man, dude? Yikes! You know how insulted she would be, banana. Oh my god, she'd lose her mind if she. I, was like, I love hey. that. <laughs>